This is HET 119, Electricity 2, Motor and Controls. This is week 13, we're covering. This week assignment will support the HVC learner to gain knowledge in the different types of three-phase electrical motors, explain how a three-phase electrical motor operate, discuss the components of a three-phase motor, Understand why certain types of motors are used for specific purposes. Explain how magnetism affects a motor. Discuss the different types of three-phase motors. Discuss the efficiency of three-phase motors. And discuss the wiring of three Motors are used in every area of the HVAC field to move air, pump fluids, and to do mechanical work. Therefore, having the knowledge of the operation and purposes of motors are necessary to the process of servicing, installing, and replacing motors. Because of the extreme energy consumption of today's appliances and the need for uh, conserving energy, it has become necessary to find ways to save energy. Using special components on motors or high efficiency motors, this problem can be solved by the HVAC technician. Having this knowledge is imperative to do and to work on motors. Three-phase motors are used in commercial and industrial buildings because of its uh, high capacity to do work and lower energy consumption. This motor uses less power to operate and have a longer service life because of its construction in the windings configurations and its physical structure. Three-phase motor sizes starts at one horsepower and can be hundreds of horsepower for larger systems. Technicians will perform on a normal routine basis choosing the proper type of motor to match the application. However, three-phase motors is primarily used on larger systems. The better the technician becomes in following through with these procedures and the better they become in diagnosing service issues with motors the better they will reduce time on the job. Having the knowledge of working on and troubleshooting, selecting and servicing motors is important to become a competent HVAC refrigeration technician. Some of the terms we will cover and the learner need to research this week is three phase, delta, Y, service factor, power factor, motor ratings, motor starters, and motor protection. This is a basic diagram of two different types of three-phase motors. The first one is Y. If you notice, it is connected at the center from the three separate windings. The delta is connected on the outside, connecting its uh, three windings. Three-phase motors are pretty versatile and they can be wired both for higher voltage like 480 volts or it can be wired for low voltage like 230, 208 type voltages. Three-phase motors are the most efficient, reliable, durable motors we use in the HVAC fill. However, it's uh, constructed for larger HVAC equipment and is found only in commercial and industrial equipment. Three-phase motors do not have start windings or starting components such as capacitors or relays. It is a very simple motor. There are three sets of windings and the windings are 120 degrees out of phase with each other. Having the windings out of phase at 120 degrees will assist the motor to start up without starting components. The three phase motor windings have two types of configurations and they are the Y winding and the delta winding. The two types of wire configurations will allow the motor to accomplish different tasks for the type of job it will do. Three phase motors comes in two types of wiring configurations. They are the Y winding sometimes called the star winding and the delta winding. The Y style of windings are wired to form a Y with each winding connected at the center point. The delta style of windings have the windings connected at the three points forming a triangle.
three-phase motors are considerably stronger than single-phase motors because of the three phases that are fed to the motor. Three-phase current actually supplies three hot legs to the device rather than two hot legs supplied by a single-phase power supply. Therefore, instead of having two phase displacement, a three-phase displacement is available without using starting components. Three-phase motors has many commercial uses because of its efficiency characteristics. Three-phase motors are the most efficient, reliable, durable motors we use in the HVAC field. However, it is constructed for larger HVAC refrigeration equipment and it is found only in commercial and industrial uh, equipment. You will find three-phase motors in these HVC refrigeration equipment. Air handler blowers, pumps, makeup air fans, and exhaust fans. Three-phase motors are very efficient because of the way the windings are connected and because of the number of power source or hot legs it have. The winding power source is 120 degrees out of phase of each other which allow the rotor to have less distance to travel to the next pole. Of course this is what gives it its additional torque and strength. Additionally the power source is the three phase is three phase which is on the sine wave. The applied voltage never reaches zero at any time on this uh, 120 degrees out of phase of each other on a sine wave. With single phase motors the voltage at every cycle will start at zero and reach its peak voltage and then go back to zero volts. Therefore power source for three phase systems is more efficient power supply. Three phase motors have three separate sets of windings and they receive and voltage at a 120 degrees out of phase of each other. Other parts of a three phase motor are the bearings, the rotor, the stator, and the end bell. Three phase motors do not have start windings or starting components such as capacitors or relays. It is a very simple motor. There are three sets of windings and the windings are 120 degrees out of phase with each other and having the windings out of phase at 120 degrees will assist the motor to start up without starting components. Three-phase motors are the most efficient, reliable, durable motors we use in the HVAC fill. However, it is constructed for larger applications and because of this reason, um, it's not used in homes or residential use or sometimes even small businesses. The building itself have to have three-phase power coming into the building for it to be able to um, have this type of equipment. Motor starters. A small motor can be started by simply plugging it in into an electrical receptacle or by using a switch or circuit breaker. A large motor requires a specialized switching unit called a motor starter or motor contactor. When energized, a direct online starter immediately connects the motor terminals directly to the power supply. Reduced voltage, star, delta, or soft start um, connected the motor to the power supply through a voltage a reduction device and it increases the voltage uh, gradually or in steps. In smaller size, a motor starter is a manually operated switch. Larger motors, or those requiring remote or automatic control, uses magnetic uh, contactors. Very large motors running on medium voltage power supply, <coughs> thousands of volts, may use power circuit breakers as switching elements. 
This is a picture of a motor starter that is manufactured by Square D, and you can see the some of the components. The um, the contactor is the top portion of the motor starter. The motor protection is the bottom portion, which senses all three legs and will sense the current draw going through uh, each leg. In this motor protection device, there is overload heaters. These heaters will heat up based on the current draw going through it, so they will be sized by the technician to make sure that it is the correct um, rating for the system they are using. There is a reset switch or a push button um, that they would use to reset if ever tripped out and the coil of the contactor is located at the very top and is the part that does the work. It's the part that generates the magnetic field to pull in the contacts. The purpose of a motor starter is to turn on and off the motor. However, by using a motor starter for large three-phase motors, remote operations can be obtained through control wiring to the motor starter coil. Also, the motor starter will have motor protection circuit to sense the overcurrent of a motor. When it is operating at high amperage, then it is safely allowable. Three-phase motors use controls to control the motor starter. The purpose of using controls to control other devices is to give automatic control for a remote location. The concept of controlling motors remotely will allow people to use motors for conveyors, high pressure pumps, and other potentially unsafe conditions. In the diagram to the right, the motor is controlled by a push button start and stop switch. The push button switch is wired into the control circuit of the motor starter coil. The top electrical uh, drawing is a pictorial and the lower uh, electrical drawing is a schematic. So basically the lower one, which is the schematic, is a simplified, easy to understand and understand how the current flows through it, while the pictorial actually shows exactly how all the components are connected. There is a time when motors are used to reverse its direction. Motors used for on conveyor belt systems or garage door openers for large commercial garage doors need to be reversed. And the diagram to the right shows how a three-phase motor is reversed. The top drawing is a pictorial and the lower drawing is a schematic. Three-phase motors are alternating current motors, and to change its RPMs is by changing the hertz of the motor it is operating at. Frequency drives are used to control this function. So frequency drives are used in the commercial and industrial applications and has great energy savings capabilities. Therefore, the frequency drive will sense the need of the load and adjust the speed to compensate for the system requirements. And the diagram at the very top shows the electrical diagram how a uh, phase monitor or the frequency drive is connected by sensing the, the current of each of the legs and then it's changing its frequency. And below is a picture of a motor and next to the motor on the left is the frequency drive for that motor. Summarizing this week's assignment and presentation, motors comes in many different varieties, however, they will be used for specific purposes. Three-phase motors do not need capacitors or relays to make it more efficient. There are no starting windings in the three-phase motor. Three-phase motors have three primary windings that can be wired to be a Y or delta coil configuration. Delta windings are used for more capacity. 
Y windings are used for higher voltage. All motors by inductance of a magnetic field into the coil of wire is how three phase motors will um, operate by inducing the magnetic field into the rotor. Three phase motors are the most efficient motor because the power supply has three alternating power sources that are 120 degrees out of phase of each other. Motor starters are used to send power to the motor and to protect the windings from higher current situations in the same control.